Double blanks. Paul Cram, good yep. start for the Emperor. Yes. Ooh, Focus good. From us. And this is a telling sign. I mean, you can go for straight up damage sides. No, he has like no dice cards. I know, I mean, he's going to go for oh, straight up damage Oh, I guess so, sides. yeah. Yeah. Takes a resource. I mean, that's still pretty telling on its own if you're not like. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're gonna skip all the damage this round. Hyperspace jump. Gonna skip everything. Not give. Uh, Palpatine, any chance to get damage in this round? Right. That was a good out. And I think he looks like he's got one more in his hand. He does. And now this has been a rat out, right? This, you, you can only... It, uh, it's removed from play? Yes. It? Yeah, it's pretty much out of the game. So you don't recur it the same way you used to? Nope. Uh, Besides not to keep his, he'll get just six. Yeah. Still, no, no. So he's got, that looks like a cunning, I think. It is a cunning. Which, not exactly the dice you want to be throwing, I guess. Uh, let me see if we can do something for you on the Netrunner side as well. Uh, Victor might be able to give us an expert we can play with. And Netrunner is five rounds, I think. Today. Yeah. yeah. For Thrones, if people are looking for the Thrones score, uh, it's up on Justin, Josing Pavilion. So if you look for Nat Canadian Nationals, you should be able to find the results. There. And those are the three events we have running today. Tomorrow we have X Wing Swiss and the finals for all three of the card games. And then Saturday we have Imperial Assault, Armada, uh, Star Wars LCG, and the top cut for X Wing. We'll be on stream bringing you the top cut for Destiny and then moving over to the top cut for Netrunner, Netrunner tomorrow. And on uh, on Sunday, we'll be doing the top uh, 16 or top 32. I don't know. depends on the final numbers uh, for X-Wing. And then we will have the Armada finals at the end of the day. Looks like both specials on the holocron, two damage and right. two mil. So he threw cunning and with the resource side so he could hyperspace jump one more time. Right. Interesting. All right. I don't know if you hold on to that planetary uprising, but the Emperor getting out first is can be challenging. Yeah. So, you know, this is not exactly what Paul wants to see. He hasn't, you know, dealt anything, but he's also not taken any of these, so he's been kind of stalemating it, I guess. So he has cumulated quite a uh, resource advantage, so... Yes, that will... be some rise agains coming this game. Right. And he does have the two Sith holocrons out, so that's... Paul just going in the tank there, whether to keep the planetary eye present? I think so. I think so, and he decides to keep it. Just making, Franco just making sure that that other hyperspace jump is removed from play, yep. according to uh, the Arata. And it still looks like Paul has not drawn anything that he can throw. When you're drawing only two cards a turn, uh, it's true. It can be a problem. Yeah. And the resource in the special. Uh, 
shield, focus. Focus on the shield, yeah. No. No more hyperspace jump. jump. So, so he's gonna have to, he's gonna be taking some damage this round, most likely. It's just I don't know. Like do you almost I don't know what you do here. Well, he's held on to the planetary uprising for two rounds. Yeah. Well, he kind of had to to pay just to pay for the hyper. Right? No, I mean, he didn't discard it. Oh, so right, yeah. There's nothing else to spend money yeah. on this turn. Yeah. He's going to focus for more resources? I don't know. No. <laughs> deal some damage? No. I think you deal some damage here. That's what I'm thinking, too. Or do you take the shield? No, you, you focus one of... Post dice to damage. Oh no, so he's taking the shield and the resource. Interesting choice. No. Po no. Yeah, we don't feel bad, but, but their mulligan was. It was, it was really bad, terrible. and his card draws have been really bad, so. And. Alright. Oh, low cat. There you go. And I'm guessing it'll be f Force Light? Right? Yeah. And pay the one. And that looks like four damage. Four damage. Four four damage. That's I think it's another left cast in the nose there. Yeah, he's going to do it again. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And hey, yep. I don't know if he's got anything in his hand to. He might as well play the planetary uprising. You're going to be able to use it at least this one turn. Yep. Actually, be a long game, which we're yeah. not expecting at the start. It'll be nice not to have a game that's over in five minutes, like a <laughs> lot of the games we've covered so yeah. far today. Well, ten minutes. Uh, retreat. One action. Retreat. So it's one action. One action, and then you're done. So I guess he's worried about having another ability that he can put in play. Yeah, which so I he think is. So yep. Yep. And he doesn't really need the resource. In effect, it was almost another Hyperloop right. uh, yeah. at this point. And, oh, there, okay. We saw, I think, uh, Paul just, we just saw Paul draw the Thermal Detonator. And... All right, so for uh, Force Throw, which, I mean, doesn't really do much right now. See a defensive position, so yep. that's going to be huge. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, pop dice. Mm -hmm. He's going to throw that disrupt at him. Yeah. It's special for nothing. It's special for zero damage, right? It's good, it's not a bad idea either. Uh, yeah. Thermal? Doesn't really make a difference. And 
and uh, throws throws the thermal gun in there for three damage. Franco had to shoot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comes out. All right. Four, there we go. Right. I'd be uh, describing maybe a little bit more aggressively as Franco, trying to make sure I get to that rise again. Yeah. Though he still does have a force illusion, so. Right. Well, you also, you probably want to get that rise again in your hand before your force illusion gets through. Yeah, no, he doesn't have it. So, in case the two shields off the Emperor dice gives two damage to, uh, to Poe. Uh, ooh. Oh, just working up that ladder, dog. I guess. And, uh, Thermal? Straight. Okay. 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 Rise again. So it's good. And there's that force throw. Uh, two damage on the force lightning and two discard on the Emperor. Yeah. Focus this the other codi to uh, special isolation to get rid of that dice. Should he have just thrown it and hold on to the force illusion for something else? Sorry? Should he have no, could he have just, he should have just, like he forced the he, he got rid of the special, right? And could he have just thrown the special and save that for something else? I suppose it's true. Right? Ooh, Ooh that discard. That was a pretty damage. big discard. together money and I think that's a disrupt I, I think that might be a three on the four thing with three additional damage. Getting five to Maz, and then there'll be two more from the Emperor Dive. Cards? Uh, three, four, 
play out the deal. All right. Was the one shield on mass? Oh, that's yeah. why I'm so confused. Yep. All right. Kill off mass. Mass. All right. That definitely evens it up, I think. Um, oh, but there's still a four solution. You can use advantage for three. Right? Yes. Two more damage coming in from Planetary Uprising. <laughs> oh, yep. Get rid of that doubt. Make sure you're going to get a five. Right to the line. And there you are. There it is. Paul's just taking a look at Franco's discard pile. <laughs> Franco's run out of yeah, fancy uh, resource yeah, token, so he's borrowing some from Paul. Paul discards to drop the five. And got some stuff to throw, yeah. ammunition. Posted the network results in the chat for those who are looking for them before. Overrates the hold up last.
That might almost do it. What is the overrate train doing here? Hmm? Why is he doing the overrates? Is he just was he just like wasting time? Yeah, basically? I think so. Yeah. There. That's it. I was like, is there some card I'm not no, missing? Yeah. Uh, no. Pulling no. everything out of the discard no. pile, but no, he's just. So.